Hey, what's up? So tonight we're gonna get started on another black bear recipe. I've got this big giant ham from a black bear's hindquarter. A nice black bear I harvested last fall. I'm sure you guys remember that. You don't? Okay, so I just spotted two bear. This is actually a big bear. Thank you, bear. Thank you. Wow. So there you go. We're gonna hit it with all these spices here and leave it overnight to marinate. And then we're gonna slow cook it tomorrow and it is going to be good. So stay tuned, it's gonna be awesome. So I'm gonna get started with a little bit of olive oil. Wild game can be pretty lean, especially a spring bear. So that's my first step. So I got some olive oil on it. Now I think I'm gonna get started with Montreal steak spice. Love this stuff. Now I'm not gonna be shy about the spice because it really, it only coats the perimeter of the meat. And uh, so it's not too much, you can't overdo it. A Little bit of garlic. I think tomorrow I'll do garlic cloves as well, and I'll smash them into it, but right now we're just gonna hit with the powder. Red pepper. Spicy, but not too spicy. I think it gives it a nice bite, if you will. Uh, you like sriracha? I like sriracha. And uh, I'm gonna do some barbecue sauce. Okay, that seemed like a lot, but I'm gonna roll this thing around. I'm gonna make sure it's completely coated on all sides. Okay, so that's just the top. I'm gonna make sure that the sauce hits every surface area. I'm gonna flip it over, do the other side as well. Oh yeah. Okay, so it's all sauced up. Gonna throw a lid on it, throw it in the fridge, and we'll see you tomorrow for a slow cook. So it is the next morning. Our nice big black bear roast has been marinating overnight. And now I'm gonna brown it on all four sides in a pan full of bacon grease. Ooh, saucy. Okay, so the idea here is not to cook it, but just to brown it on all four sides. I wanna get a nice crisp going before I put it in the slow cooker. Come on, baby. This is starting to look good. Looking like it's got a nice brown, almost on all sides. Okay, so I'm pretty happy with that. Time to throw this in a slow cooker. Ooh. There you go. And you know what? I'm just gonna take that. Okay, so we got the nice big roast sitting in there. It's looking really good. Next step. Need to add beef broth. I guess I'll put it all in there. Because we don't want it to cook too fast. We want a nice drawn out slow cook. Okay, there's that. Cool. Okay, the roast is in the slow cooker. Next step, cut up some onions. Now I don't have to dice them. I just gotta maybe cube them up and throw them in to the mix.
Okay, next step then is to add onions. I'm gonna break them up as they go in, but not a big deal. It's a lot of onions. A couple of bonus pieces of bacon. Sure. Put them in there. Remember that thing of all my marinade? Yeah, that's going on there too. Let's get it in there. Lots of flavor. Lots of flavor. Okay, so it's all ready to sit. Gonna give it at least three hours. Gonna do a bit of a kitchen cleanup and be probably an hour out, I'll probably add some vegetables. Excuse me. Okay, this is looking and smelling really good. I'm about to head out for a bit, so I think that I'm gonna add the carrots now. Okay, so it's been about three and a quarter hours. Let me see how this baby looks. Smells good, it smells really good. Now because it's bare, we gotta make sure that it's cooked internally to a temperature of like 170. Almost, almost there. Just gotta wait a couple minutes till that peaks out. And I got r white rice cooking on the side. Okay. Looks like she's done. I'm so excited to see what this looks like. Smells super good. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. So she's cooked right through. It's a good, good thing. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to cut it up into smaller pieces. Like that. I might even cut them up even smaller because I'm going to have them on rice. So. so get some of that white rice first. Good. I'm gonna get my bear. Put that on top. Got that. Then I'm gonna add some of this big chunk of bacon in there. I'm gonna skip the bacon for a sec because I wanna just eat the bear. I'm gonna get uh, a bunch of that sauce on there. Okay, that is gonna be good. Pretty excited to try this. Did I mention yet that that's the... Okay, so I'm getting my first few bites here. Mm. That is really good. This, this is really good. It's actually better than I thought it would be. Hmm. Okay, well done. This is really good. And I don't mean well done as in tough, because it's really quite tender. Uh, it's got a little bit of spice, which is gonna be sriracha and the red pepper flakes. But this is really good. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Hope you guys liked the video. Um, you should get out there, and get a spring bear of your own, or a fall bear, they both taste good. And there's lots of good things you can make and cook and they taste awesome. And then it's a fun hunt and they look really cool on the wall too. So thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and uh, cheers. Mm. We gone.